Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and welcome to The Locker Room. Today we're going to have a little bit of fun looking at imposters or clones from some of today's finest and widely recognized fragrances. It is from a brand called Perfumes Decor or PDC as some people call them. PDC is well known for making anything from first aid all the way to body sprays, fragrances, clones and imposters of fragrances. In fact, if you've ever been in a department store such as Walmart, what looks like Meguiar's wax for a car, but the Bod brand itself is PDC. PDC. So if you've seen that, kind of a funky name or a funny name, Bod. Where are you supposed to spray this stuff? Somewhere on the Bod, I suppose. Today in the locker room, we're going to be talking about imposters or clones with his sexiest designers that are designer fragrances for men that are meant to be imposters or clones of very widely recognized fragrances. His sexiest designer. So let's get right into it. This one is called Rule. It's supposed to be like a clone of Blue de Chanel. The clone of Aqua de Jo is Mascalino and like Gucci Guilty Strike. Now it says like, so I'm assuming that they're trying to be just like the fragrance itself because that's what a clone or an imposter is. Now there's not gonna be a list of notes that we're gonna read off of these. All I'm gonna do is do a side-by-side -side test with a tester strip to see if in fact these smell just like, smell a little bit like, or smell nothing like. I discovered there's no easy way to get into this packaging, so I'm just literally gonna have to rip it open. So definitely the packaging is not part of the presentation for these guys. Pop these out. Let's see if these are a home run or there are three strikes and you're out because we do have three tries, right? I actually have the bottles of the fragrance, but I also had the samples and I thought it'd be easier just for purposes of this video, just to use the samples. So as you can see, Aqua de Jo sample, here we go. I'm gonna smell up the room. I have a feeling. All right. King of the Freshies. Well, I would say it's almost a tie between Aqua de Jo and Blue de Chanel. King of the Blues, King of the Freshies. All right, so obviously know what Aqua de Jo smells like. Very well received, very, very cloned DNA. So let's see what Mascalino smells like, which is supposed to be the Aqua de Jo. So Aqua de Jo here. These look like they are meant to spray a bunch of, of, of fragrance at once. Let me get it primed. Oh yeah, that's not kidding around. What? Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay, I, I'm gonna, ha I'm, I'm not even kidding. I am super impressed. This smells I'm not gonna say just like, because it's not a 10 out of a 10, but it's definitely an eight and a half out of 10 if I had to rate it like Aqua de Jo. Now, it isn't as strong. It is a lot more dumbed down and, and it does smell a little bit aldehydic and it smells a little bit synthetic. Obviously, I have a little bit of a synthetic vibe. It smells identical to Aqua de Jo. That's pretty amazing. So, mark one down for a positive for Moscolino. Now it is missing a couple of notes. It's missing uh, It's missing a little bit of the woods, a little bit of the cedar, missing kind of a watery note or aquatic note the Aqua de Joe obviously has, but it is extremely similar, similar to uh, enough to where at a quick glance, at a distance, or to quickly pass by someone, and if this uh, carries on your sillage trail, they might think it's Aqua de Joe. They might mistake it for Aqua de Joe. I might honestly do that myself. I'm admitting it. That's a home run, Mascalino. Pretty impressed. All right, next up, let's try Rule. I'm very curious about this. Blue de Chanel has a very semi-unique DNA. It is a freshie. There's a lot of things about it that are very similar in other fragrances. I wouldn't say it's super hard to be an imposter or to, or to be a clone. My nose is very familiar with Blue de Chanel. I really do like it. So let's see how Rule bears against a very well-known blue fragrance. So you can clearly see blue de Chanel. That's a really good atomizer for a sample. Ah. Every time I, I smell blue de Chanel, I fall in love with it all over again. And a good fragrance should do that for you. Okay, this is going to be, I already have a feeling that rule is going to drool and not rule in terms of 
Louis de Chanel. But let's give it a shot. You know, gotta have that willing suspension of disbelief rule. And by the way, as you can see, the cover, not much on the cover. Uh, on the very back, it just tells you, because I was super tempted to spray it in my eyes if it hadn't said, do not spray in eyes. Okay, here we go, rule. Let's get it primed. Okay. It's trying, it's trying, it's trying, it's trying valiantly. But there are notes in Blue de Chanel that you cannot. Okay. It, it's similar enough to where I have to say, good for you. Hey, A for effort. But it's very clearly not Blue de Chanel. Like there are some complex, there are a little bit more complex notes and layers in here. You don't get the, it's a lot more synthetic and it's just a bunch of alcohol right in your face all at once. Now on the dry down, it is uh, it is burning through the alcohol pretty quickly. Yeah, okay. It's a dumber it's a dumber version of Blue de Chanel. The quality isn't there, obviously. I'll be honest with you, I thought that these were going to be terrible. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Now it's quite possible that these will become a skin scent, and in fact I'm expecting them to become a skin scent 30 minutes after taking a shower and spraying this all over. But I'm gonna spray myself enough sufficiently with it that hopefully catch a whiff a glance or two from a passersby in the mall or somewhere like that to hopefully get someone, you know, comment on it. I'll keep you posted on that in future videos to see if, if I do get any comments on it. If you don't hear from me, you know I didn't get any compliments or comments. All right, next up we've got, this is a sample of Gucci Guilty. This is a decant from Sephora. This is gonna be Gucci Guilty. So let's see if Strike is a home run or not. So, Gucci Guilty here. Hmm. Gucci Guilty is another freshy favorite. Gotta love it. Smells like a professional, smells like a boss. I really like it. Now let's see if Strike can play with the big dogs. Now each of these has a little plastic cap. Okay. Yeah, this one doesn't, this one strays quite a bit from the Gucci Guilty DNA. It just smells like some Ambroxan and alcohol, and it's very powdery. It's like sweet baby powder. No, not at all. Strike was a strikeout. It was not a home run. I don't think I sufficiently showed you the labels. Um, this is Strike, okay, and that is supposed to be an imposter of Gucci Guilty. This is Mascalino, and is very pleasantly similar to Aqua de Jo DNA, enough to where I'll actually wear it out of the shower. And this is Rule, probably my favorite of the three because it smells so similar to Blue de Chanel without the quality vibe, without the higher end. So the higher notes on the dry down, the higher notes kind of go away and it melts into a blend that is similar to these fragrance greats as we know it, but it's similar enough to where you would want to wear it, I think. Kudos for PDC for coming out with a pretty good imposter or clone of Aqua de Jo and Blue de Chanel. Not so much on the Gucci Guilty. I guess this guy is guilty as charged, not similar enough to Gucci Guilty. It has a little bit of the vibe of the Gucci Guilty, but it, it's way toned down, way toned down doesn't have that, that guilty boss vibe. Well, that's it guys, just a little bit of fun today looking at Imposters Perfume Decor. These are extremely inexpensive. Honestly, I think I spent five bucks at Walmart grabbing this thing, and I just really grabbed it on a whim, just uh, out of curiosity. So if you ever pop by a Walmart or any other convenience store and you see a Perfumes Decor sample, go ahead and give it a shot, give it a try. It's for it's great for funsies. Compare it to the fragrances that you have at home and see if you like it right out of the shower. It's obviously gonna be a skin scent. They do use some quality products, they say. Give it a try, see for yourself. Can't really hurt, get some bang for your buck bang for a buck so it's not breaking the bank so that's one benefit if you're a diehard frag head in the community though you're gonna likely pass on these and i completely understand again i'm only doing it today thought it'd be a fun video to make and show you guys uh, but definitely understand for those of you that don't want to try it you're really not missing anything especially if you have the original uh, but it's always good and it's always fun. A lot of people don't realize that clones and imposters are a genre and they're growing. They've been around for a long time. Definitely a growing market, especially when designer and niche fragrances are released and they're extremely expensive when they're released. People are always looking for economical alternatives. And it's good enough, it's nice enough to where you can actually wear it in lieu of. I'm not a snob about my fragrances. I'm a little bit of a snob when it comes to my signature scent. There's no way I'll wear, wear a clone or imposter of my signature scent. But for fun, just to see if these work, you know, see what people say about them, get some compliments, 
get some people that maybe think that it's the actual fragrance when it's the clone of the fragrance and see how that works out. Tell me about your experiences in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you so much for stopping by and thank you so much for all of your support. It means the world to me. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.